Hey, beloved. I want you to do something. If you're not meditating with me today, I've talked about breath work and how I do it. I've even done breath work on camera. But watch it. And I want you to do some breath work. I know a lot of you guys keep hearing about this mystical, and some of you guys are close, and you stopped it because you got scared of it when it was right before it was happening. You do the breath work, not passively. You got to want it. You got to get after it. And you focus yourself. And you do it correctly the way I usually explain. And you push the energy from the bottom three centers all the way up to your brain. And when you do that, IgA levels will shoot up, cortisol levels will shoot down. You will have so much more energy within your aura, the field, and they can measure that. They measure that in the advanced retreats. You know, I don't know how many advanced students are going to be with me next month in Mexico. But I'll let you know. And when you go after it, and then you start to teach your body what it would feel like emotionally when you're in awe of life, when you're in love with life, what, what would it feel like if all you felt was infinite love? What would that emotionally feel like? What would it feel like to teach your body courage, what would it feel like? The version of you, what does that person feel like when they feel fearless, when they feel worthy? Teach your body to become a new mind for you, to become a new program for you. What would it feel like to be empowered? When you know and you believe that you are the creator, what would it feel like? And you do that with some drive. You do that with an intention. And you go after it. I promise you, you will not get up the same person that sat down in a meditation. It is not satire in a guided meditation when it says, come back to the new body. We are a new person in every moment. Why not be so intentional about it so that we can be moving fast towards the desired outcomes? You will be in real time upregulating healthy genes and downregulating diseases. All diseases just lowering, lowering of frequency. You got to become a mystic, the alchemist. You have to become the alchemist in order for this to happen. <laughs> I talked about surrender yesterday, so I'm not going to talk about it again. But mean it. When you surrender to the divine, to the mystical experience, to the unknown, without judgment, without fears, and you walk through that the eye of the needle. You just let it happen to you. After you put in that initial work into the breath work. And then you relax afterwards. Expand your awareness until you forget about your body. And you become a space. And not you. Not more than 99% of you is empty space. The fact that you have a body is an illusion. Sure, you have 0.001% matter, but most of you is empty space. Most of everything is empty space. And it's so amazing when you have an outer body experience. It is so amazing when the mystical grabs a hold of you. It is unbelievable. And from that outside of space and time, when there is no space between you and your desires, and because there's no space, there can't be time. 
that's when you heal yourself. That's where you manifest things that you like. Relationships, prayers, health, anything you wish. So who are you being today? Who are you pretending to be? Who are you presenting yourself as to the world and the universe? Pretend to be the future you. How would that person walk with so much confidence, with so much courage, with so much belief into the process, the work, knowing that, you, that that person, that version of you, knows and believes that it, that it is an al uh, alchemist, creator of all the realities that, that, that you experience, how would that person smile? How would that person bless other people just with their existence when they walk by somebody? I have felt it. I can feel energies because your, your senses get heightened. When you go so deep into the meditations, when you drop into the delta, when you drop into gamma, everything changes. You walk into the rooms and people can feel the shift in energetic magnetic fields because you walked in. Become that blessing for the world around you. And keep me updated. Let's do it.